Hello, welcome back to another video. It's been a bit of time since I posted on here, so um, don't get your hopes up too much. I'm gonna try and post a little bit more as we're going on into the 2024 season. Um, and those of you who probably follow me on social media and um, the news, or the, I suppose the release would have already been made uh, by the time this video's out, but um, a bit of a change of team and identity this year for me um, for the road racing we're changing to Honda and um, I genuinely enjoyed riding the Yamaha and last year was pretty good really at TT I didn't really get the results I wanted but um, I did my fastest ever lap on the course and chassis wise was was great but um, yeah we need to uh, find a little bit more and um, you know I think there's always a bit, little bit more to come from me and especially with road race it's very hard to push right to that very limit and um, extract everything I'm not going to say safely but um, unless every single little minor box is ticked then um, it's very hard to get and ride to the absolute limit so um, anyway we're I'm excited I've rode I actually rode this bike in December in uh, Spain so I have already ridden a Honda. Um, always, always very hard on a, on a short circuit to give an exact comparison, but uh, quite different characteristics, obviously, with the different firing order and engine layout to, to the Yamaha. But um, so I need to talk, I suppose, a little bit about the new team. It's not really a new team, it's a new team name, a new identity for the crew I have. So um, anyone coming to the TT will be the same familiar faces in the awning be a different race truck, different bikes, different colours and this obviously is um, a raw bike yet we haven't got sponsors and true team colours on but the team is called WTF Racing, not what you, I mean think of it as you want but it's not what you think, it doesn't stand for what you think it does, it's we're the future racing um, and I've got the same span of men and crew around me so um, which is super important and um, you know, I'm pleased, I'm pleased that's the case so um, yeah, going to be new colours for next year, obviously new bike, but same me, same crew, same tracks, uh, no BSB, I'm not doing any sort of short circuit stuff or no plans to at the moment other than testing, it's just going to be um, uh, Northwest TT uh, and various, various tests prior to those and then after that um, we'll see where we go. But um, in other news, uh, Muckoff are back on board this year which I'm really pleased to be back involved with them we got some fairly exciting plans content wise going forward to work with them on some projects with their whole kind of moto product inside of things obviously they're very big in, in pedal bike stuff but um, we've got some plans there to work on some moto motorcycle things going forward so um, a local company company to me in Paul so works well and uh, pleased to uh, they're working actually at the moment on the design for my helmet for 2024 which um, Obviously, it'll be pink, pink again, but uh, a few little nice touches there. And we're planning on doing a, a run of uh, replica helmets this year on the AGV Pista. So um, more to come on that at some point when uh, we need to get this design done first, and then we can take it from there. But uh, that's pretty much it for the moment. Obviously, I said at the beginning, we're here at the Autosport show. Um, there's kind of a little motorcycle area here. We're launching the bike tomorrow, but this will be after the launch so it's okay to obviously film now um, and I've also got the rally bike which I'll take you over to in a minute to sh show you the my Dakar rally bike which is currently going on at the moment as we speak and um, I do wish I was there the plan is to go back next year um, and, and all plans are kind of coming together with that now so there's um, the plan is to go back with the team and put a package together so there's possibilities there if anyone's watching that is intending to do Dakar next year then maybe get in touch because the more of us that sort of team together can make the overall bring the overall cost down and uh, we'll see anyway but there's there's loads going on on that side of stuff but main focus uh, is TT Northwest TT and um, see what we can do on this on this new Honda Fireblade
Right, a little walk around um, this area that we've taken up in the Autosport show here at the NEC. It's obviously the new WTF racing section there with one of what will be one of my race bikes for this season. Honda have brought down um, Honda have brought down some bikes for us, which is John McGuinness's 100th anniversary, 100th start race bike, uh, an RC213, which that is a very special thing. It's just completely ruined by these these what what they put those mirrors on i don't know why but uh i suppose they easily come off and then some bikes from the national uh motorcycle museum which is just over the road from the nec um a try which I, I believe that was I'll just say here i think i feel like it was uh anstey's at tt but uh it looks like it was last race at macau i'm thinking because there's a chinese sticker on the back but uh they were pretty special in the in the day, and then obviously a very iconic bike, the JPS Rotary Norton, which um, obviously that was uh, Trevor Nations by the sticker on the side of the fairing there. But uh, he's quite a big bloke, and that's a very small bike, I can tell you. Uh, that would have been cramped old riding position for him for six laps around the TT on one of those. But uh, fairly fairly special bike that one. And then this is actually. Yeah, 1907. This won the very first ever Isle of Man TT. So super, obviously, clearly it's been cleaned and uh, restored since then. But um, I do wonder, like, the guys that made made this and ran this and started the whole thing ever would believe where it's gone to and where it's at today. But, uh, yeah, special thing to, to look at and... Uh, crazy it'd be amazing to sort of have a time machine and take like a modern bike back to that era and show them what they started back way back then and where it is now so um very uh, various other bits on this pitch with vans and i think they're doing something wrapping this car here this is it joyce they do something with our pit boarding and bike decals and stuff a, a, a company we're working with this year or the the team we're working with um pcre sort of project here which is all electric vehicles and various modes and models which is uh, the Suron which I did actually have a go on one of these at uh, a hard enduro and it was surprisingly good actually but uh, yeah there's I've not read one recently but um, that's sort of the way it's all going doesn't really excite me too much I prefer petrol and combustion than electric but uh, that's the way the world's going sadly a little bit I'd say but uh, Last but not least is uh, a bike that's pretty special to me. This is my Dakar rally bike from last year. Well, this, yeah, last year, 2023. So um, kindly the new owner has, let me use it and bring it up here. Um, and it is still in, he's keeping it in its original attire. And um, we put some new graphics on the leg panels, just where they got worn from obviously the abuse she received during that two weeks, but um, quite attached to this bike and it's, you know, it was, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say, it was more than a tough two weeks, but um, I went through quite a lot and, you know, spent many hours sat riding this thing and uh, learnt a lot, smiled a lot, cried, bled, just everything. So it means a lot to me, this bike, and uh, it's here on, on show for people to look at. We've, uh, it's quite a nice thing and always, always, I think the rally bikes, they do look different, but... Um, they just tell a bit more of a story, especially this, as it's done Dakar, you know, um, people that know, know and can appreciate a bit more for what it is. So, And it's got last year's, it's got the final stage uh, in the road book still. So, um, and that'll stay in there for however long. But uh, yeah, nice to, it's always nice to see this bike. <laughs> Well, that's it really from the Autosport show. We just launched the new WTF Honda, which I will be competing at uh, later in the year and hopefully out on track soon with. Um, hopefully have some rally news soon. The plan is to get back to Dakar in 2025. So uh, a lot of work to do there, fundraising and planning and everything. So, um, but priority at the moment is for, for TT and chip away at Dakar plans. But um, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this 
briefish video, a little bit of news, quite exciting, new team, as I said, but uh, yeah, 2024 season starts now, really, and um, can't wait to get going. So if you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe or like, and keep an eye out for the next one. There's uh, a few things coming up that we're gonna try and capture and uh, share with you guys. So thanks for watching, see you soon. Thank you.